All righty, we're going to defeat Dolores in this episode, I'm sure of it. Excellent courage, Donald. What a great way to inspire us to win against this crazy old hag. Yes, I'm so inspired. Let's do this. I'm so ready to be done with Dolores. As we all are, Joe. Let's hope we can win this chapter today. Agreed. Dolores, I want you to know you're going down, totally down. All right, we've got George here. And I'm going to say, poor guy. Looks like he didn't make it through Dolores' love and care. Yeah, it's a shame, but look at the wall. It seems to be a secret door. A secret door? This door is so secret, I don't even think Dolores knows about it. And let me tell you, I've got the best doors. People are always talking about my doors. No one has better doors. Believe me, it's true. Oh, really? What exactly are you hiding behind there, Don? Oh, come on, it's not that big a deal. Just a little storage, nothing special. Just the best storage. You wouldn't believe it. Storage? Really? That's what you're calling it? What, like stacks of your old tweets or the lost files from your golf game? Shut the fuck up, Joe. You've got the polo shirts, I get it. But there's got to be something extra in that closet. I'm talking about rainbow suspenders, Joe. Like really loud ones, the kind that scream I'm here for the pride parade. Guys, shut up. George is standing. Crap, here he comes. Run, Obama. He is walking like a snail. Dang, this guy is slow. Well, he has vanished, and in this case, thank God. We have dealt with enough Dolores. I really did not want to start dealing with her evil husband as well. Agreed. Now let's go put the baby piece onto the baby carriage. Before we do that, let's listen to our new tape we found. is getting worse by the day. Her temperaments are extremely bipolar. She gets easily upset over small things, almost always immediately followed by self-resentment and the asking for forgiveness. It's getting harder to cope with her outbursts, but my love for her is strong still, and I'll do whatever it takes to help her overcome her condition. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna be late for tea. Where did I put that damned attic hook? Oh, George said he was going to be late for tea. You don't be late for tea, my man. Tea is too special to be late for. Really, fuck tea. I'm much more of a Coke man. Plus, I can make it and make it amazing. The best, the strongest drink. No one does Diet Coke like I do. It's huge. People come up to me all the time. They say, Mr. Trump, you're the king of Diet Coke. And I say, you're damn right. Trump shut up about Coke. Dolores is near, I can tell. So everybody shut up and listen. If we want to survive, we need to be careful and listen. Wait, we're still missing pieces? It would appear so. So let's just go exploring until we find the final piece. Ah, shit, run your ass off. Dolores cannot catch us. We have gotten so far, I will not allow it. We really haven't, but run, yes, run like crazy. Go away, you old hag. Man, I can't believe we got out of that alive. She was right there. Of course we made it. You think Dolores can catch me? Please, I've escaped tougher things than a 200-year-old hag. Yeah, Trump, that's total BS. Listen, that old lady doesn't scare me. I mean, she's creepy, sure. But I've seen scarier things, like Joe's sock drawer. Hey, my socks are organized, man, color-coded and everything. Dolores wouldn't stand a chance in my closet. Joe, you think Dolores is scared of your socks? Oh, she'd take one look and say, you know what? I'm out of here. I can't haunt a guy who wears mismatched stripes and polka dots. At least I wear socks, Don. I bet Dolores would chase you extra hard if she caught you with those orange tanning bed feet. They're not orange. It's a warm glow. Very presidential. Dolores would probably apologize for chasing me. She'd say, Mr. Trump, I didn't realize I was haunting a man of such great stature. Yeah, right. More like, sorry, sir, I thought you were a leftover pumpkin from Halloween. Enough about socks and tanning. Let's focus. Barack, what are we doing? I'm not sure. Let's just wait and find out. I'm sure we need to look around for a second. Time for another dumb puzzle. Okay, so done with that, and now we have a secret door. So here we go. 
Okay, so it's a bed. This seems like the weirdest place to want to sleep. Yeah, and also the scariest. Look at that shadow stain. I bet the shadow man caused that. Well, Biden, this is not Black Ops 3, so I don't think that's what caused it. Yeah, this is horror. Well, I was actually talking Princess and the Frog, but look, the next baby piece. All right, boys, this is it. The final piece, time to stick it on the mobile and see what happens. Let's not get too excited. Knowing this game, I guarantee something's about to jump out and scare the crap out of us. Well, nothing's going to scare me. Dolores knows better. She's probably hiding because she's intimidated by my presence. Guys, let's just get the piece on this carriage. I'm curious what it's going to do. Oh man, it's spinning. That's never good. Things only spin when something bad's about to happen. Let's not panic yet, Joe. It's just a mobile. Maybe it'll drop a clue or something. We called it. There's the key. Wait, wait, do we grab it? What if it's a trap? Like the moment we pick it up, Dolores is going to show up and start chasing us again. And it's just a key. Plus, it's a little late for that we are already holding it. It's got a music note on it. It goes to that box behind us. All right, we've got a record. This has to be important. Let's find a record player and see what it does. Oh man, maybe it's a banger. You think Dolores has good taste in music? Doubtful. Dolores probably listens to something boring like harp solos. Well, let's find out. Trump, do you know where the player is? I'm looking for it. Calm down. I know that you don't know where it is. It might be in the bedroom, back where we found the record. No, oh, it's not in there. We already looked. Let's just keep exploring and we will find it eventually. It's got to be around here somewhere. Check the shelves. Shelves, please. If I were hiding something valuable, I wouldn't leave it on some dusty shelf. I'd put it in a safe, a gold safe, maybe with a combination only I could remember. Don, this isn't Trump Tower. Dolores isn't hiding her greatest hits collection in a luxury safe. You don't know that, Joe. Maybe she was rich before she went all creepy ghost lady. Look at this house. She had to have money. This house isn't actually that big, to be honest. If you don't count the weird portals to different locations. Yeah, but let's just look for that player. I am curious what this song is going to be. Alrighty, the anti-gravity boots are coming back into play. Yeah. And hopefully this is the last time they come into play. Yeah, I'm so tired of this area. I'm tired of this chapter. I cannot wait to finish this chapter and begin anew. We're all ready for it to end. But let's just enjoy what we have left. This chapter can't be that much longer. We have been playing it for hours. So there is no way it's that much longer. I'm sure we're close to the end. Okay, where is that player? Ah, here it is. Now we can finally see what this song is. Man, I hope it's a banger, like the ice cream melody. I seriously doubt that, but it's possible. Okay, here we go. Uh, opera, not my flavor, but I guess it could be worse. Oh man, look at this. Stairs. Hundreds of stairs. This is how they get you. You keep walking and walking and boom, ghost lady in your face. Joe, calm down. Stairs are nothing. I've dealt with stairs my whole life. Perfect balance, never fallen once. People say I'm the best at stairs. Bullshit. 
Don's the kind of guy who'd build an escalator for this. No way he's walking down all these stairs. You know, this place is ridiculous. It's like someone took the Lord of the Rings tower scene and said, you know what, not enough cardio, let's double it. Yeah, or like when your GPS is broken, and it's just like make a left, then another left, and then spiral downward into madness. Well, at this rate, I feel like we're just one wrong turn away from ending up in Inception. Is Dolores trying to get us into the dream within a dream? Well, let's just keep walking around and see if we can find which door will open. Freaking damn it, how long are we going to be running around? Yeah, but I feel like once we escape this maze of stairs, we will finally be free of Dolores. Wait, what the heck is she doing? Is she dancing? Dancing? That's what we're afraid of? She's over there doing the thriller routine while we're panicking about stairs. This is very odd. What is going on? Don, she's not doing thriller. Look at her. That's more like slow motion ghost yoga. Man, this is taking forever. Okay, guys. I think we have finally found the correct door. Holy crap. Dolores must have been obsessed with baby carriages, not just the baby she had. No shit. This is a crazy amount of baby carriages. There are three options Dolores got all in case the other broke. Two, she planned on having a lot of babies. Or three, she is a collector and decided to collect them all. Well, that's a weird thing to collect. Oh boy, the flesh room returns. I thought we'd never see this again. I actually agree. It's been a little while, and I had assumed we were finished with all this weird flesh house building. Well, I hope we get through quick, because I am feeling really sick. OK, empty room. Wonder where we are now. All right, this is it, the big payoff. Let's see what's really going on with Dolores. Damn! Well, she is still as creepy as ever, so that doesn't change. Okay, well, I guess we're looking for a new hole to look through. See, she is at least a good mother, coming to the child when it needs comfort. Well, she is clearly insane and has had a dark past based on what we have experienced, so I feel she wouldn't be the best parent. True. Now everyone stop talking, I want to say in here, this cutscene. What is she doing? Dang oh, girl. Well, you know what they say. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs or, in this case, a few necks. Wow, Joe. That was messed up. I would expect that kind of crap from Donald, but you... Boom. See, I'm not the problem. Joe has always been. Fuck you, Biden. Guys, the episode is about to end. Let's end on a positive note. Okay, Obama. But that might be hard since we just watched someone die. Well, gentlemen, we finally just did it. We survived Dolores. I think we deserve a little victory dance. I'm just happy I'm not haunted by some ghost lady right now. No more terrifying ghost chases. I think I might actually sleep tonight. Oh, I can't even express my joy of finally being, being done with the evil hag Dolores. Last time I was this happy, I had won my first election and got to twerk Hillary's blonde ass at the White House. Very weird. But now I think we should go look at the progress room and then end the episode.
Okay, a mouth now, a mirror. I wonder what's next. Well, folks, we did it. We just beat the Dolores chapter. You know, I've been in a lot of tough situations, real tough, but nothing like this. This was a real winner of a game, probably the best game, frankly. When Dolores started dancing in front of the window, I just was thinking, you know what, Dolores, let's make a deal. You go haunt someone else. I'll give you a golf course. Easy. But anyway, we all hope you enjoy. Balala gubla we golf, blah, 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 blah.